Hey everyone, Ken Siesla here. Welcome to my channel, The Enlightened Plumber. We're talking about stopping MS symptoms and we're on the elimination part of our videos. Now we've talked about getting rid of meat, wheat, dairy, sugar. The next piece I want you to do as far as the elimination goes is I want you to get pro really proficient at reading labels. You can see it's all about choices and the foods that we eat. Um, there, I'm gonna go into what we're gonna be replacing what we're eliminating with in other videos, but for now we're still on the elimination part of it. So let's say you're at the grocery store and you're looking to purchase a ketchup. Well, I'm gonna show you two examples right here. Same brand, back to back. One's organic, one's not organic. Now, what's the difference between the two? You read the label in the back. Now, the organic one says tomato concentrate, um, still vinegar cane sugar we're just trying to stay away from sugar so i'd probably go with the sugar free but for this example we'll go ahead we have salt onion powder spices natural flavoring we don't know what any of that is but let's assume it's all good as opposed to the next one that we have right here that says tomatoes and uh, vinegar and the third ingredient is high fructose corn syrup Highly processed sugar, you want to stay away from the high fructose corn syrup. So if you were to pick one versus the other, you're going to go with the organic brand as opposed to the other. Now let's talk about another condiment. We have pickles. A lot of people like to use pickles. Here's one brand, here's another. Read the ingredient for this one. Well, it's just cucumbers, vinegar, sugar, water, spices, onion, salt, bell peppers, and turmeric. Nothing bad in here. Then we read this one. It says cucumbers, high fructose corn syrup, we want to keep away from. A vinegar, water, salt, calcium chloride, that's a preservative. Um, a loom, whatever that is. Sodium benzoate, whatever that is. Now we have uh, polysorbate 80 and yellow number five. Why do you need food coloring, toxic food coloring in pickles? We need to keep away from this because that's all creating inflammation. Now another thing that we like to have is we like to have spices with our food. So we have one brand versus another brand. And you want to have as least many uh, ingredients in it as possible, organic and non-inflammatory. Um, seasoning is very good for you, especially spices have healing properties to them. So using a lot of spices is really good. So this one right here, just for the sake of keeping the video short, um, I'm not reading anything bad in this one where this one right away you get to the end of it and it tells you FDNC yellow number five and number six. Why do you need food coloring and seasoning? It doesn't help with the flavor and it adds to the inflammation. So with that said, as I'm walking around the store right here, the point is you're going to give your body a break on what you're consuming that's going to add to any sort of inflammation and get back to only what's creating uh, a state of health, a state of repair, a state of balancing, a state of rejuvenating in your body and not having anything that's again going to distract from that process from occurring. Um, so this is just one piece of the puzzle right here added on from before. More to come in other videos. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit subscribe, share, like. And uh, thank you for your time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.